Okay, so I have totally dragged you into my Michael Pollan crush over these last few weeks. In my attempt to help us to simplify the act of eating, we have focused on a few food rules. Eat food, mostly plants, and not too much. It really is that simple. It's time to draw our food rules to an end, but not before I give you a few more. Today we're gonna to finish up on the not too much part of our phrase. And yes, I'm going to suggest that we probably could be eating a little bit less, which if you've been following our phrase and our eating food and mostly plants should not be too much of a problem because when doing so, our appetites are satisfied. Ask yourself this question. How would your health improve if the only change you made was to cut out overly processed foods? On average, we do eat an extra 500 calories every day in the form of refined carbohydrates like soda and crackers and sweets or boxed pantry items. So once again, the not too much part is one where we could easily make improvements without too much effort. Treat treats as treats. I have absolutely no issues with treats or special occasions. In fact, every year on my birthday, I visit this place along with my young neighbor who shares the same day. Why? Because we prefer homemade and well-made desserts and treats over the box varieties that are lining the grocery store shelves. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a treat and a special occasion, or maybe even having one on a Thursday. For those of you who may struggle with having treats, you may want to adopt the S policy. No snacks, no sweets, and no seconds, except on those days that begin with the letter S. Mm. I just love everything about it. Don't get your fuel from the same place your car does. Gas stations make more money on processed food, drinks, and cigarettes than gas. But except for milk, water, and maybe some fruit and cheese, what choices do they offer? To curb temptation, don't fill up while filling up. Try not to eat alone. I definitely eat more when I'm by myself. When my family goes to bed at night and perhaps mom is still binge watching some show on Netflix, my portion sizes inflate. We tend to eat less when we're sitting around a table conversing and enjoying one another's company. But when we're by ourselves, we do tend to eat more. So what's a simple solution that you could use at work? Leave your desk and take a proper lunch, perhaps even in a break room where coworkers are bound to be coming in and out. Leave something on your plate. Many of us grew up being told to clean our plates completely. This advice truly backfired on our health. Did you know that there's an older tradition suggesting that we should not clean our plates? Better to go to waste than to the waste. Break the rules every once in a while. That is if you're actually following the rules. But can I suggest that you pick up this little book and just glance through it? Because our obsession with diet and nutrition has actually done nothing to improve our health. While this book offers some great tips on how to make eating healthy a lifestyle. But truth be told, even I chuck the rules every once in a while. But I return to these as my default habits. My favorite expression, everything in moderation, including moderation. So eat food, mostly plants, and not too much for the health of it.